guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So one thing I want to talk about briefly, because I don't want to make this video too long. But Nicki Minaj yesterday uh, received little to no love on her birthday publicly, right? Um, I didn't see any celebrities or anybody that she cool with. Um, really show her love or make a birthday post. You know, the DNF listers came through, like the City Thoughts and Bia and, you know, um, a few other people. But I'm talking about, like, Champagne Thickums was quaxy, and it just felt like nobody that was, like, a celebrity on her level showed her any love. And I know people are going to say, oh, well, they could have done it privately. But that's the issue I have. When Nikki messes with a person, she messes with them privately and publicly. It's not just privately. She don't wish Champagne Thickums a happy birthday privately. She posts on her story or she posts a picture. Okay? She even calls Champagne Thickums her hero this year. Okay? Um, same thing with like the Kim K's and, you know, um, the Doja Cats, like Doja Cat was on live listening to Queen B, but she couldn't do a birthday post. And y'all claim that she's a barb. Y'all always, oh, Doja's a barb. She never talks about Nikki's music unless it's convenient for her in an interview. She never promotes Nikki's music. And um, she definitely never openly congratulates Nikki on anything. Okay, for the Vanguard Award, she was quiet. She was mute. Birthdays, she's mute. Number one, when Nikki went number one, she was mute. Okay, but Doja Cat's a barb. Okay, that's what y'all be saying. Lottery ticket was a barb too. And like I said, of course they have her number and they could have done it privately, but that's not the issue. The issue I'm having is when Nikki messes with somebody, she publicly um, shows them love. Okay, when it was Doja Cat's birthday, she wished her happy birthday. I remember that. When Doja Cat won a Grammy earlier this year for the 2022 Grammy Awards, um, she publicly congratulated her. Okay, so that's my issue. It just feels like when it comes to Nicki, people privately try to mess with her and, until they need a feature. Then they publicly show her love. And then it just seems like nobody publicly wants to give Nikki her flowers. That's what it comes off as. It's like, oh, we got to do it privately. For what? It's her 40th. Now, she might have thrown a party or, you know, done something really big for her 40th. But people only show Nikki love unless they want a feature or they need something from her. And I think Nikki needs to move accordingly in 2023 and stop showing love to these artists. That's what I feel like. Because it's just sad. Like the VMA, when she won the Vanguard Award, nothing. Birthdays, nothing. When she went number one, nothing. Like people barely show her any type of love. But she always show people love privately and publicly. Now, moving on to SZA's album. I did listen to her album. Um, overall, I think it was a good album. Overall, you know, there was a few skips. But, you know, she did have a good album. SOS and Conceited. She talks about her surgery that she got. Um, you know, all the people who were saying I was reaching when I said SZA got surgery, I expect an apology, okay? Because I told you guys that months ago that she got surgery. No, she gained weight. No, she got that BBL. Stop. Um, I also felt like she should have addressed her getting her face contoured or she did something to her face. I don't know if she got a nose job like Cardi B, but she did something to her face. Smoking on my ex pack. Um, she was rapping on that song. I don't know why. I don't know why she wanted to get her Chloe Bailey on and try to rap. It was okay, but you know, SZA's not a rapper, so I didn't really understand why she was rapping. F two F. She got her Avril Lavigne on. Okay, she sounded exactly like her in that song. Um, that Canadian singer who is also an icon to me. Um. And it wasn't too bad, but, you know, I didn't really understand why she was doing that, like, rapping and trying to sound like, you know, certain white artists. I didn't understand that. Travis Scott produced the song Low. You can tell because he had the background vocals 
on that song. I didn't really care for that song in particular, but I'm going to tell you the songs I did like. I like the song Kill Bill, Blind, Gone Girl, Too Late. I like that song. Forgive Less, um, Love Language. I liked Shirt. Obviously, that was the single. Um, Good Days, that was a single. And I Hate You was also a single. But overall, I would give this album like an 8 out of 10. You know, it was a really good album. Um, I respect her honesty, you know, especially when she was talking about her surgery. And hopefully, um, she don't get no more work done, okay? Because we don't want SZA out here looking like 11 faces, boxed and, you know, shaped like a fork. We don't need that, okay? Anyway, moving on to 11 faces, is she shelved? Okay, some fans believe that the album is never coming and that 11 Faces is secretly shelved. And that's why she went on live saying how she don't really um, like any of her music. I don't think that 11 Faces is completely shelved because she's still in contract. You know, I think she's going to put out one more album and then that's it. Okay, Cardi's not going to have 10 to 15 years in the rap game. She's going to put out one more album, and then she's probably going to be done, okay? Um, and she'll have a reality show, Off the Cheat and Barty, keeping up with Off the Cheat and Barty on E! News. And then that's basically it. Cardi B Jr., a.k.a. Um, Doja Cat, is still ranting on social media because she's receiving some backlash about how she handles trolls. You guys are going to continue to fucking contradict yourselves and be like well why are you why are you so mad that people are reacting to you in a negative way motherfucker why are you asking me that if i'm doing the same thing they're doing and you're defending them then where's my defense from you exactly you just don't like me that's the point so just say that (laughs) there's no point in putting on a mask I'm reacting the same way that other people are reacting. I do some shit, and someone doesn't like it, and they go, that's whack. And I go, how about you suck the go, well, why would you say that? That's rude, Doja. You're a bully. Like, that's corny of you that you don't even realize how, how contradictory that is. So Doja Cat's own fans are calling her out in regards to how she's behaving on social media. And I feel like it needs to happen. Doja is turning into 11 faces, okay? Bickering back and forth all day on social media is corny, okay? You don't need to be doing that when you're a superstar, okay? It's given you have too much time on your hands and you need to get into the studio. I'm expecting top tier hits from Doja Cat since she got so much time on her hands, Always on Instagram Live. Didn't say happy birthday to Nicki Minaj. So I'm expecting top tier um, songs. I don't want any trash music from Doja in 2023. Now, one person that did wish Nicki a happy birthday, Carisha. Um, she playing chess. She's being smart. Okay, because she knows she wants Nicki to come on Carisha, please. And a lot of other artists don't want to come up there because of the questions that she's going to ask. It's a chess move. She probably was listening to Tomorrow 2 while putting that tweet out. Happy birthday, Nicki Minaj. Okay, so Nicki can see that and be like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't favor JT. They both told me happy birthday. You know, Nicki going to believe that the seat thoughts are not fake. Now, fans are calling Riri out. Because they keep saying that she is following ASAP the Colorist around town and she's not focusing on her Super Bowl performance. They feel like, why are you following him around every time he's at a show? You're there in the background standing with your sunglasses, okay, looking like a bodyguard. Well, people got to realize ASAP the Colorist openly admitted that he has a sex addiction. Rihanna cannot afford to leave ASAP the colorist alone because he might cheat. You know, those cheating rumors that came out while she was pregnant, do you really believe all of those were fake? Okay, come on now. All these cheating scandals going around and you believe ASAP the colorist is not cheating? Stop. Let's come back to reality and touch some grass. ASAP the colorist admitted that he has a sex addiction. So Rihanna 
can't really leave ASAP the colorist alone too long, okay, or let him go overseas or, you know, to another place without her for too long because he might cheat. And I don't think Rihanna wants to risk having a newborn baby and being a single mother, even if she is a billionaire. But what Rihanna should do is just hire a private investigator when ASAP goes out of town. That's how TJ Holmes' wife found out that, you know, he was cheating on her. From Good Morning America, you know, that huge scandal, his wife was following him and his mistress around for weeks, okay, hired a PI, and, you know, she got the evidence that she needed. So I think that's what Rihanna should do, or get an air tag or something instead of, you know, physically following him around, because it's obvious that you don't really trust ASAP the colorist. But, you know, those are some good ideas. Anyway... Uh, make sure you guys check out my Patreon. I got a really good video on 11 Faces and Nicki Minaj on there that I just posted. Um, link will be in my description box. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.